portfolio board. In this video, we'll cover how to create your very first mood board. We'll take a look at the projects page, start a new board, we'll look at the workspace and the toolbars, we'll show you how to set your grid, add products, add images, review the mood board super tools, we're going to add text, layers, and finally, we'll show you how to create lists and cut sheets. Let's get started. When you jump into board for the first time, this is what you're going to see. This is your projects area, right? Projects area is where you're going to build up your boards. You're going to have these sample boards that can help get you going. You can also create a folder here and that folder can absorb whatever boards you might have specific to a project. There's three ways to start a board. You can import an image that you already have that you wanna work on top of. You can create a sample board, which is just gonna kind of give you um, a random selection of products to play with, or you can start a blank board. So today we're gonna to start from a blank board. In board, you have on this side, your products sidebar. Over here you have your uh, board toolbar and then down at the bottom you have the most essential question mark for your help button. So this will outline what all of the buttons are and gives you a link to our quick tips uh, that can explain anything that you don't know, anything that we don't cover here. All right, so let's get out of that. Okay, so now we know where we are, we've got a blank board. Let's pick a size. Let's start with a grid. Um, you can pick the size. Maybe you want square for Instagram. Maybe you want 4-3 landscape. Whatever you want, you can also adjust it to any custom size. And you can start to add your grids. So today we're gonna go with a 4-3 grid. You could also pick a background, um, but we're just gonna go with white for today. Um, so let's pick a 4-3 grid, and it's a nice proportion. Let's add a couple of grid lines underneath, and that way as we start placing our furniture, we'll be able to see that it all lines up. You're not gonna see those grids until you actually add furniture. The main places where we're pulling things in, right? You have your featured items, which is just sort of discovery. You have your product library, which is curated for you by Morfolio. We're adding things every day. You have your personal library. This is where you might store your favorite things. You have your Pinterest. So anything that you want from your personal Pinterest. And then over here, you have your photo library. These are things on the device. Your camera, if you wanna take a photo. Uh, your cloud drive, if you're saving a photo somewhere. And the web. And then there's some fun kind of like shapes and entourage. And then you also have your web clipper here. All right, so today we're gonna to be doing a dream conference room board. So maybe you know that you're starting a design, you know something that you wanna start with, right? So you go over to your products library and you can do a search for Blue Dot. I know that Blue Dot has great office furniture. We're gonna start with a credenza. So you pick out whatever product you wanna feature and you just bring that right over, okay? You're gonna size it up to fit your board. You're gonna make sure it's centered. See how once that item is selected, your grid lines automatically show up. It's nice that they show up while you're working with it but then when you're ready, they go away. That way you don't have that visual noise in your board, okay? So we'll start with a credenza. Then you know you maybe need some office chairs, but you don't know what you want. So maybe you go to the featured. The board featured area has just an amazing collection of all kinds of really cool stuff. It changes frequently, it's hand curated. You get a lot of ideas there. So let's let's go for something fun. Let's do this one. Now that chair you see comes in with white background. It's blocking 
my credenza. So I'm going to want to go down here to the magic tools or your editing tools toolbar and use this little thing called the magic wand. If you just press that once, you lose that white background. And now the chair is really something you can work with. If we like the pink chair, we're gonna need a table. Another place you can bring in uh, furniture from is the, I'm gonna make this a little smaller, is, make room for my table. It's the, the product library. So we did featured, we did products. This is your personal library. So this library is the one that is populated by things that you put into it. You can put them from anywhere. There is a whole how-to video just on the library you can check out. But let's say that you have already created a folder called tables. These are all my favorite tables. So I'm gonna go for a Saren and dining table, also a conference table. So we have these great little um, guides now that can help you, or you can do it this way. So whatever feels comfortable to you, and it may be different depending on if you're working with a pencil or not. I sort of go back and forth between fingers and pencils. That's how I like to roll. Let's get some chairs for this table. Maybe you know that you need to be in the office realm, but you don't quite know what you're looking for. You can scroll through the different categories so the first time we looked by company, right? Because we knew we wanted that blue dot credenza. Here we're going to look by category. We're going to scroll down to commercial. So these are the Ginkgo chairs by Davis. They are in our library. Um, I'm going to lock my table so that it doesn't get in the way. I'm going to push my credenza back so that it doesn't get in the way. Then I can grab my chair. So let's get our chairs situated. So you know we all capture things all the time in our camera. You can go to your photos, go to library, and choose anything from your photo library that you want to add to your board. And that's gonna pop right in. Beautiful. Another place we pull things in from, Pinterest. So if we go over here to Pinterest, I'm already logged in to my Pinterest account. So all of my Pinterest boards are showing up right inside the board interface. This is major, very special relationship that we have with Pinterest that allows this to happen just for you because who loves Pinterest more than designers? Here's some art that I have saved. Let's drag it right from Pinterest onto the board. There you go. Over here you have this little navigation tool um, referencing Safari. You open that up and right now we are on Pinterest because I hit that Pinterest link when I was in Ava. So let's say that that art wasn't doing it for me and I wanted to explore a little something else for my conference room. I can choose that thing. Select it and add it to the board. So now we replace that art with this art. And the magic of Web Clipper is that it should still, you should still have the link to that product. Now, links occasionally break or, or whatever else, but let's see if it worked. If we go back into our list, the new art showed up. We can turn off the old art because we're not using it anymore and it preserved that link. So you can stay in that flow of working and you can generally rest assured that whatever you found and brought in, you'll be able to find again. It looks like this chair is being blocked a little bit by this one below it. So again, this is kind of a chance to use dive into our editing toolbar. So now that we've got all the pieces, these um, up and down arrows will adjust your order. So if I push this up, it should move that up in the um, layer toolbar, and it's gonna ultimately come up above that chair. 
which is gonna be in a nice place where it's not blocking. Okay, we also want our table to come up in front of that chair so that it's not blocking. Let's look at some of the other edit toolbar tools. Once you select your chair, I think we could use two on this board. So here we can duplicate the chair, get it into place. We can then look at our layers. We know that we, again, want it behind the table so that it's not in the way. Another thing that we can do, if we select this little guy, um, we duplicate it. So we have a second chair, but it's going the wrong direction. So the next tool on your toolbar is your mirror tool. Look at that, it's just gonna flip it around for us. So now this one can sit happily on this side. So I think our conference room is starting to come together. We're definitely gonna want some lighting and just drag something in. And this may be our most exciting tool on the toolbar, which you've kind of seen me use, but let's just call it out here. This is our magic wand. So you hit the plus and that background goes away again. So you see, I've got a little piece here that's kind of off my board. So if we go to the crop tool on that toolbar, we can bring in the edges. So you could go all the way in and take half of a product, but here we're just gonna pull in the edge. Okay, so those are the things you're gonna use the most for each tool. All these down here, your copy, changing the order, changing the uh, white background subtraction, the mirror, the crop, and then this al allows us to add it to library. So we mentioned that, that special place where we pulled things from the custom library. If you had, had something you love, you wanna remember it, you hit plus here and it'll show up over here in your library. And that way you're just storing all those things that you might wanna keep track of for later or you can store them by product. There's a whole nother video just on the library. Let's um, take a look at adding text. Every good board needs a title, right? Dream conference room, I like it. Okay, add that text. I chose kind of a typewriter font because that feels office-ish, very official. Um, but maybe I don't love it, it's a little heavy. So you can always go back into that text and it now shows up down here because you're editing something that already exists. This toolbar is all about editing things that are already on the board. So choose font there, you can adjust the size. You could adjust the color if you wanted to and you can adjust the font. Let's do that again, because actually I don't just want that font, I think I want it in italic. Nice, all right. So there we go, and then we're gonna kind of move this. You see I'm using the grids to move it so it feels like maybe it's centered. Uh, this over here, right here, is our layer panel, basically. Um, and right now, the pink chairs, the bird chairs, are on top of that credenza. That's why you don't see the credenza behind it. So it's way down here, right? There's your credenza, it's down here. If you wanted to change that, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can select that chair and bring it down behind the credenza. There's the credenza on top. There's the chair on top. You could also select that item. Well, that's selected my table. And you can use these arrows to move an item back and forth. So I'm moving it down below the credenza and you see it also happening over here or I'm moving it up above. It's a really simple interface to just try to keep you organized because, you know, a lot of times there's that sweet spot where, you know, I want this chair to be above the credenza so, you know, so that I see it in front of that item, but I want it behind the table. So it's just a really easy way for you to make sure that things are where you want them to be graphically to create that kind of sense of overlap. Something pretty awesome about board is that you've got your design starting to come to life. Um, you can close up your layers here by doing that. Um, 
you can get a cut sheet. So this is the Ava feature that we talk about a lot. So everything that was on our board is now here in the cut sheets. You can check them out and add your notes or whatever you might want um, before you create this sort of PDF um, stack for your client. You can go back to the board and you can go to the list. This is amazing. Your board has already created an Excel list in the background. You've got your titles. You've got your links even to your Pinterest items. You've got uh, notes that you can add based on, you know, uh, whatever notes you might want to add for, the, for yourself or your team or your client. And then you can export that right out as an Excel spreadsheet. It will keep all of the populated lines as well as the images. So that just makes you look good because all you did was build this pretty board and in the background, all that sort of production work is, is already done for you. So if we have our board, we want to export it. So here you are, you can save it to images. You can even send it directly to Photoshop. If you go straight to Photoshop, your layers will be intact. You can keep working or move them around. Um, but nothing like an image 4K that you can then send straight to whoever you want to send it. Message, mail, save, wherever you want that thing to go. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.